Copyright from the Black Lagoon. Is copyright really the nasty monster it seems to be? Let's examine the basic rules to determine if copyright is more monster or friend. Every citizen has copyrights to reproduce, publish, and sell a work. All creative works are automatically covered for the life of the author, plus fifty years. Then they automatically enter the public domain. The Copyright Modernization Act, Bill C-11, was passed in 2012 with the intent of striking the right balance between the needs of creators and users. Copyright is intended to be a system of incentive for creators while also encouraging the flow of information that can stimulate new ideas, inventions, and creations. There are three relevant updates for teachers and students. One, greatly expanded exceptions for using copyright protected materials. Two, the right to create mashups and post them via social media. And three, the controversial digital locks clause. Here are the issues for teachers and students. Hmm, what can I use? Do I have to make everything myself? The Copyright Modernization Act has clarified the fair dealing clause for our modern age. The fundamental freedom of thought, belief, opinion, and expression is embedded in the Canadian Charter of Rights and Freedoms. Citizens must be permitted to criticize for the betterment of society. Research, news reporting, criticism, private study, and review are all legitimate academic reasons to use copyright protected material. Remixing is now legal for students and citizens in general if criticizing, critiquing, or creating a parody, as long as you own a copy of the original. In the National Film Board documentary RIP, a remix manifesto, Brett Gaylor enlightens as to how commercial remix culture has come into conflict with corporate interests through his expose on Girl Talk, a popular West Coast remixer. Even though professional remixers have commercial intent, they firmly advocate for change based on the concept of a remixer's manifesto. Note the words of Henry Ford, successful automaker. I invented nothing new. I simply assembled the discoveries of other men behind. Centuries of work. Progress happens when all the factors that make for it are ready, and then it is inevitable. Change is currently advocated by academics and high-profile activists who believe that copyright has been stifling creative process. Lawrence Lessig is an American lawyer and activist who has advocated for sensible copyright that allows for creativity in the digital age. New York-based filmmaker Kirby Ferguson produced the four-part series documentary Everything is a Remix. He describes the essence of this perspective. I jump them from other writers, but I arrange them my own way. I think this is mostly what we do. Our creativity comes from without, not from within. We are not self-made. We are dependent on one another. And admitting this to ourselves isn't an embrace of mediocrity or derivativeness. It's a liberation from our misconceptions, and it's an incentive to not expect so much from ourselves and to simply begin. Remixing should be used in the K-12 classroom for these reasons. One, it's been legitimized by the Copyright Modernization Act. Two, it's a valid new literacy. And three, it's an opportunity for creativity and critical thinking. Students may wonder, can I use whatever I find on the internet? 
Copyrighted material that has illegally been posted online is not an exception in fair dealing. The teacher or student must own a copy. In addition to understanding copyright laws, students need to be taught about copyleft licensing, which is an alternative that works within the law. While public domain material is free to use, copyleft licensing through organizations like the Creative Commons allows for more flexibility. Finally, the Digital Locks Clause of the Modernization Act is currently a roadblock to fair dealing. If a copyrighted product has a digital lock, it's not permissible to break the lock for any reason. Although the Digital Locks Clause is unfriendly in spirit to fair use, the expanded exceptions for education and the legal right to create mashups using owned materials and open source are more friend than foe. Most of all, we should teach students that they can advocate for change to alter laws that are inconsistent with our charter rights.